What up, Blue Jays? Sean Blue here. To put a little extra sauce on the tacos, to put a little extra gravy on the mashed potatoes. Um, okay, today was a full day. I I went on like a little lunch date. Today's my birthday, actually. I didn't tell you guys that, but today is my birthday. Um, how old am I? You're probably wondering. Well, class is on. 20 plus 16. Do the math. And don't use a calculator. Uh, okay, I okay. I was going to title this one. Uh, creepy gay guy in parking lot. But I don't want to offend any of my, um, you know, subscribers. Just in case you swing that way. So, I'm going to change it to, um, be aware of your surroundings. Because... When I was walking into CVS in my hometown, there was a guy younger than me with like blonde curly hair in tall. He was coming out and he seemed, you know, and he like kind of like looked at me and, and like, yeah, and like, you know, he kind of seemed like, like he was into me. And then I was like, like, or something like that, you know, like I made a face like, okay, I see you. And um, so I just walked in and he walked out. And I thought, you know, okay, well, that's the last I'm going to see to that guy. Then I did about my business inside the store. And when I was walking out into the parking lot, I was putting, like, my money still in the po my pockets. You know, I had to wait in line for a little bit when this old lady took some time. There was a guy begging for money. Walked right past him. Putting my money in my pocket. Walking right in the middle of the parking lot. Then I noticed him in the corner of my eye. And he was, like, walking. He was walking in between cars and stuff like that. And... And like, so like I stopped doing what I was doing. I was like in the middle of putting my money in my pocket and I was probably like looking at him like, like kind of like giving like, like I see you and I want you to know that I see you and you're creeping me out. Why he was, I, cause he's something, something like I had a weird gut feeling about this guy and he was walking and I was just like looking at him like this and like, it didn't like he kind of just kept on walking and like, then like he, his face kind of changed a little bit and he, kind of walked behind me then like I looked and I just kept on seeing him walking just to make sure he keeps on walking because I had a weird gut feeling about this guy and I thought it was weird like he was waiting for me when I got out of the store to like kind of like walk by me in the parking lot I thought that was weird and I'm not talking about I think he was going to try to rob me and I thought he was just like some weird guy and I'm sure women have to put up with that a lot and and for any women viewers out there you know if you get that type of gut feeling I'd say just run even though you might look crazy just go with your gut. Like, I went with my gut about this guy. Just gave him, like, a, like, hey, look. I, I stopped. I remember just stopping everything I was doing when I saw this guy. Why I wanted him to know that I see him. Because he wasn't aware that I'm really super aware of my surroundings the whole time, pretty much. So, like, I noticed him right away. Creeping. Walking in between cars and just, like, walking and stuff like that. And, and like, like he, his mannerisms kind of changed because he could tell that I was creeped out by him. And so you kind of like just kept on walking off and stuff like that. And I, and I thought he was going to walk to this one car. I'm like, oh, maybe he's just walking to the car. I'm still trying to give him the benefit of doubts. But now he walked right past the car. It wasn't his car. So, um, yeah, just something I wanted to throw out there to my viewers. Always be surrounded by your, always be aware of your surroundings, I should say. And um, shout out to all the Vacos up north and the homies down south. And, um. To all the little red rhino hoods out there, be uh, aware of the wolves out there.